Labs is a team of multidisciplinary, multicultural women of color working at the intersection of art, science, technology, and futurism. NSAF is a four-part project we created in the summer of 2016. We took a hair salon and reimagined it. So you think you're going in to get your hair done, but you're really going to get your brain optimized. debuted at Sundance in 2017 at New Frontier. And it's a project that is looking at the roles and contributions of black women in art, science, technology, and futurism, um, while specifically like looking at neuroscience and questioning, you know, where are all the black women in neuroscience? And you can take that same question and position it to a number of different things because visibility is often lacking. We have to create platforms to connect with people. Hello. Do you see me? Yeah, I can see you. Virtual reality right now in its current iteration is a space that is begging for content. And we wanted to create content that highlighted nuanced representations of black women at its inception so that it's not like film or playing catch up to challenge these stereotypical notions of what it means to be living in a racialized body. Also just creating what we wanted to see. Brooks organized a group of neurofeminists to create the synaptic lineage. This is an autonomous network gathering and distributing communal memories and knowledge. Collective experience is carried through human agents and hosted on local servers as communal data is weaved through their neural networks. Kind of how coded information and directional coordinates were transmitted through the lyrics of old Negro spirituals message songs. We decided to tell the story through an installation, through objects, through virtual reality, and through cognitive impact research. And our main character, who you meet in the VR in the world, created this world um, where she's collecting memories from women in her community, elders, and creating this super technology. As you experience the VR piece, you start in the seated position and you're embodied inside of our avatar. Her name is Fatima. She's a young black woman and she's ended up in the salon. She doesn't exactly know how she got there, but you look into a mirror and you see yourself as her. And our main character, Brooks, comes up behind you. Brooks does this session on you and then you go through the mirror and you lose your body. And you, there's this fly through scene where you're flying through all of these relics and old representations of black women that are kind of falling into the lava. And at the end, you get to this podium where you meet three new representations of women and they have a message for you. And then after that, you kind of come out of it and you're back into the salon. You leave feeling a little bit lighter. You leave hopefully feeling empowered. You know, that was our intention of helping you to understand that we're showing you something and, and you're in the experience to be mindful of it um, and you're living life and you have a blank slate and you can be whatever you're, you want to be and do whatever you want to do. Since doing this work we've been able to connect with other filmmakers, other creators, other artists. Now that we're here, you know, me as a black woman, Carmen, um, as Mexican-American and Eje as a Turkish woman, now we can stand up and say Look at us, we're here, we've done this thing. We did it in a thoughtful way, and you can do the same. You are free from the constraints that have been placed on you throughout reality. There is no pain or suffering in this world. The only limit is your imagination. This is a blank slate. <laughs>